Hi folks, I'm still at Boondall's Wetland Reserve and this is back of this is at the back of one of their signs and I thought that when I saw the spider's web and there was a white cross I thought oh somebody sprayed that on but in actual fact that spider had made that I was going to focus on and I spoke to the people at the visitor centre here and uh, that's called St Andrew's Cross Spider so you can see why so there again, see nature never ceases to amaze me why would a spider want to do that? there's obviously some evolutionary reason for it to do that to make special thick um, parts of its web and it runs along the, the line of where it keeps its legs fascinating there's got to be a there's got to be an evolutionary reason for them to do that but um, yeah be surprising what you can see at the back of an information sign. Hi folks, I'm just walking around the Boondall Nature Reserve here and just noticed this termite mound that's quite low down. Normally they're quite high up in the tree so you can't get a really good close look but um, I just had a close up look at this and it looks abandoned actually. Can't see any termites wandering around. Um, but it's just admiring the uh, intricate way it's built. And uh, it's a shame that such a beautiful structure is not used anymore. Just down here, there's a. I can find that where it is. Oh, there we are. There's a gorgeous looking orb, orb spider. Made a nest beneath it with these beautiful patterns on its body. waving in the wind, it's quite a windy day today so yeah it's not my camera that's moving but uh, yeah, it's just got gorgeous patterns and it's waiting for something to arrive on its web for lunch. Here's another example, one of those one of those gorgeous golden orb web spiders. Um, I just so wish I could show you the scale of this spider is absolutely huge sorry about the shaky camera work I've got it on a sort of monopod and I'm trying to keep it as steady as I can but the sun shining on the web I think shows the reason why they call it golden or web spider because when the sun shines on it at a certain angle it shines golden hence the golden or web spider but I'll see if I can I 
try and steadily move this camera back if I can. Whoop. Oh, it's moved. Damn. I think it's found something. Oh, it's gone back. Yes, he found something on his web and he's now making a meal of it. Can't see exactly what it is. But, um, yeah, I'd sort of try and put my hand in front of it and just give you an idea of the sort of size of it. I'd say the span of its legs um, um, five, six centimetres across from one tip of the leg to the other. The actual body itself, I'd say, is about two centimetres thick. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can zoom out and you can sort of get a rough idea of the. It's straddled two trees. Yeah, so interesting. Just notice as I'm walking around the track here, there's another orb whip spider on this web that spans these two trees I'm not quite sure if this camera can pick up the gold on its web damn it's going to focus I'm not quite sure if this camera can pick up the golden sheen